let us test our understanding with an example X Limited had 45,000 10% redeemable preference shares of 100 each, redeemable at a premium of 5%. The company decided to redeem them by issuing equity shares of 100 each. The number of equity shares to be issued are, is it A, 36,000 shares, B, 45,000 shares, C, 47,250 shares or D, 50,000 shares. What was our formula? We said it is face value of preference shares to be redeemed. Face value of preference shares to be redeemed. Therefore, we do not consider the premium on redemption. Face value of preference shares to be redeemed in this case is 45 lakhs. The company is redeeming this by issuing equity shares of rupees 100 each at par. Therefore, 45 lakh divided by 100, that what is that? That is the proceeds, proceeds of fresh issue of one share. 100, we get 45,000 shares. So our correct answer should be B, 45,000 shares. Please note, when we consider this, we take 45 lakh, which is face value of preference shares to be redeemed. What is the cash required for redemption? The cash which is required for redemption is not 45 lakh. It is 45 lakh plus a premium of 5% plus 5%. However, in order to compute the number of shares to be issued, we always consider the face value of preference shares to be redeemed. Let us check with another example. <clears throat> Here, like I said, the answer is 45,000. The next example, X Limited had 45,000 10% redeemable preference shares of 100 each redeemable at a premium of 5%. So it's the same problem. But here the company decided to redeem them by issuing equity shares of rupees 100 each at a premium of 25%. The number of equity shares to be issued are, it also says pass journal entries. So let us first compute how many shares would be issued. What is the face value of preference shares to be redeemed? Preference shares to be redeemed is again 45 lakhs. What is the proceeds of fresh issue? Is it 100 or is it 100 plus 25, 125? Is it the face value or is it the issue price? It's the face value or issue price, whichever is lower. Therefore, we take the face value of 100. So proceeds of fresh issue is 100, divide, and we again come up with 45,000 shares. So again, the answer would be 45,000 shares. If that be the case, <coughs> what is the accounting entry? <coughs> Entry for fresh issue is bank account debit to equity share capital to securities premium. What are the amounts involved? It would be 45,000 into 100, 45 lakh, securities premium would be 45,000 into 25 and the amount received would be 45,000 into 125. Next, for redeeming the preference share capital, it would be preference share capital account debit. It's 10% preference share capital debit. Preference share capital would be debited with the face value, but we have to pay the preference shareholders plus 5%. So it 
So 10% preference share capital debit 45 lakh. Premium on redemption. Premium on redemption debit 5% of 45 lakh, which would give us 2,25,000. 2. Preference shareholders, preference shareholders to bank. I'm combining the two to give us 47,25,000. And there'd be one more entry that is this premium on redemption of 2,25,000 has to be set off against the securities premium. So the entry for that would be securities premium account debit. Two, premium on redemption. Two lakh twenty-five thousand. Correct answer, 45,000 shares. Let us consider another example where the fresh issue is at a discount. X Limited had 45,000 10% redeemable preference shares of 100 each redeemable at a premium of 5%. The company decided to redeem them by issuing equity shares of 100 each at a discount of 10%. The number of equity shares to be issued are we follow the same principle, face value of preference shares to be redeemed. How much is that? That is 45 lakh divided by issue price or face value, whichever is lower. Proceeds of fresh issue. So what is the proceeds of fresh issue here? This is 90. It is either 90 or 100. This is the issue price is 90, face value is 100. Therefore, dividing by 90, we get 50,000 shares. The correct answer should be D. So what happens in this case if journal entries needed to be passed we would get bank account debit. It would be, amount would be, we are talking of 50,000 shares into 90. 50,000 shares into 90 or 45 lakh. Discount account debit would be 5 lakh. 2. Equity share capital would be 50 lakh but preference share capital which is being redeemed preference share capital debit preference share capital account would be debited with the face value that's 45 lakh premium on redemption would be 2 lakh 25,000 that is 5% to preference shareholders and preference shareholders to bank, 47,25,000. So preference share capital in this case, which is going out of the books, is 45 lakhs. And equity share capital, which is coming in, is 50 lakhs. Though equity share capital of 50 lakhs comes in, the amount actually received was only 45 lakhs. So when fresh issue is at a discount, we are more conservative, we issue greater number of shares and secure the position of creditors and outside liabilities. Here the correct answer, 50,000 shares. Let us make a quick comparison of all three situations. X Limited had 45,000 
10% redeemable preference shares of 100 each, redeemable at a premium of 5%. The company decided to redeem them by issuing equity shares of 100 each. Find the number of equity shares to be issued, assuming it was at, assuming the shares were issued at par. When they were issued at par, we got 45,000 shares. Why? Because it was face value of 45 lakhs divided by 100 giving us 45,000 shares. Par and face value both same. When the shares were issued at a premium of 25%, what did we consider? Again, we took 45 lakh face value of preference shares to be redeemed divided by proceed of fresh issue. What is the proceeds of fresh issue? It's either issue price or face value, whichever is lower. And therefore, we again divided by 10 and got 45,000 shares. So in A and B, the number of shares which were issued was 45,000. So share capital, preference share capital of 45 lakh went out and equity share capital of 45 lakhs come in. But in this case, when it was at a discount of 10%, what did we do? We said face value of preference shares to be redeemed is 45 lakh. Divide by the proceeds of fresh issue. And what is the proceeds of fresh issue? Issue price or face value, whichever is lower. Here it was discount of 10%. That means issue price was 90. Issue price 90, face value 100. Therefore, we divided by 90 and got 50,000 shares. In this case, the share capital preference share capital which went out was 45 lakh it is replaced by equity share capital of 50 lakh but mind you the amount that we received for this was only 45 lakh the amount we received was only 45 lakhs therefore when the fresh issue is at a discount we issue greater number of shares